From outstanding overclocking headroom to a brand new hybrid core architecture, Intel's 12th gen processors have enabled them to regain performance lead over the competition. Currently, Alder Lake CPUs are some of the best processors existing on the market for both gaming and CPU demanding tasks. But the question is, how much of a performance gain does it have over its 11th gen predecessor and is going for the flashy component always the best option? In this video, we are going to compare two of the best Intel chips belonging to the 12th and 11th generation, the i5-12600 and i7-11700 to find answers to these questions. So, without further ado, let's get started. Priced at around $324, the i7-11700 incorporates a total of 8 cores and 16 threads with a 2.50 GHz base and 4.90 GHz of boost clock speed. With 16 MB of Intel Smart Cache and 50 GBS of maximum memory bandwidth, this thing draws as much as 65 watts of power from your PSU. And lastly, it supports DDR4 3200 MHz RAM and has built-in UHD 750 graphics. The $280 i5-12600 on the other hand brings along 6 cores and 12 threads which are slightly lower than that of 11th gen i7. However, you do get a base clock frequency of 3.30 GHz right out of the box, which can be further boosted up to 4.80 GHz through overclocking. You also get 18 MB of smart cache and 76.8 GBS of maximum memory bandwidth. What sets the i5-12600 apart from the i7 counterpart is its compatibility for both DDR4 and DDR5 memory. It supports DDR4 at up to 3200 MHz and DDR5 modules at up to 4800 MHz. Similar to the i7, this one also has integrated graphics, the Intel UHD 770. With that out of the way, let's see some number crunches of how these processes perform. As per CPU Monkey's Geekbench 5 testing, we are looking at a single core score of 1958 for the i5-12600, which is quite higher compared to i7-11700-1721. Although having a relatively high clock speed, i7-11700 could not beat the i5-12600 in single core performance. Taking a look at their multi-core performance, the i7-11700 did step up its game with a 9872 Geekbench 5 score, which is significantly higher than i5's 9075. Pairing these processors with an RTX 3090, we can see an average FPS of 164 at 1080p ultra settings for Horizon Zero Dawn on the i7-11700 and 173 FPS on the i5-12600. It's quite clear that the i5-12600 has plenty of value to offer when it comes to raw CP performance and gaming. While the i7-11700 is a good processor too, it costs way more and the benefit does not weigh over its price, which makes the i5-12600 the best value for money Intel CPU. So that was all about the 12th gen Intel i5 versus 11th gen i7 debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.